Hello everybody. My name is Cece and I'm a Huntington's disease patient and I really wanted to talk a little bit about Huntington's disease and 29 alleles. See a lot of people think that you can only get Huntington's disease with 37 CAG repeats. With 30 to 36 repeats is an intermediate range. I'm here to say that that's not really right. Uh, according to Baylor uh, Medical Center, and this is the doctor I went to go see actually. He found a, a case of a 62 year old who had some complaints of HD, yet, you know, he wasn't really sure if he had HD because he had so many, uh, so many few, his, his alleles were so little. Uh, he only received a, a 29 alleles and uh, I guess upon further questioning, they found out that his father had some movements. And, um, yeah. So they did an autopsy, you know, on this man. Well, here it says the genetic test revealed he had 29 alleles on one allele and 20 on the other. And... Over the next three years, he, he declined, and finally he died. Um, and then they found out that his son actually has issues. So here it's just talking about how you really can't rule out someone with 29 alleles anymore for having the disease. And this is really super important. This is important for me and for my sister because... We both have 29 alleles, and we both have significant um, symptoms of the disease. Um, so I'm going to go over a little bit over 29 alleles and what this really means. Does this mean you do get Huntington's disease with 29 alleles, or are there special circumstances? I don't really understand it, and I think the scientists, scientists don't really understand it either. But either way, the issue becomes, you know, that there's a large group of intermediate HD people out there being told that they don't have HD, even though they probably have the clinical symptoms. I mean, look at that right there. The pathology doesn't lie. And... Um, neither does DNA. So if you have 29, um, actually I think it's, um, the intermediate range is 27 to 30 now. Um, and this is, you know, there's a lot of discrepancies between scientists about whether or not, you know, where is the intermediate range? They don't really understand HD, but they don't really understand HD anyway regardless of the amount of alleles. So I just wanna say that it is a possibility, it can happen, and it is happening out there, because it's happening, it happened to me. I had 29 alleles, they didn't believe I had HD, yet I had all these clinical symptoms, I ended up in a wheelchair with seizures. The fact of the matter is, I have had severe symptoms. And weirdly enough, I feel like even though I'm still having to fight, I am getting better. I think that marijuana really does do a lot and all my research into food has been helping as well. So I decided I was going to beef up this channel because my YouTube channel needs to be beefed up a little bit for those that have been contacting me and asking me questions. So here's the first question I get. How many alleles do you have? I have 29, and so does my sister, who was diagnosed with HD. This is my life's work, really. It is. It's what I think about most of the time. I'm sure it's what most of you think about, because how could you not with a disease like Huntington's? 